All right, y'all. I live in middle Georgia, a little south of middle Georgia. <laughs> and we had some cold weather last night. This is so unusual for us. But, Roy, we have to leave some of our pipes dripping at night so they don't freeze. This one sprays. And this one sprays. And see, it yeah. is just absolute. Don't move it so fast, baby. Okay. This is absolutely beautiful. So I do see a little bit of winter every once in a while. So <laughs> I just wanted to show y'all my little piece of winter. This is, so, a, this so is about we, the most we get. <laughs> in Georgia, we have to improvise. <laughs> This is the way we make our winter wonderland in Georgia. This is nothing compared to you out west and, and in the north or even in north Georgia. But for us, this is winter. Well, <laughs> from Grandma Rose's open pantry to you. Winter wonderland. <laughs> Y'all are entering the danger zone. <laughs> Grandma Rose on Grandma Rose's Open Pantry you channel. You are. Y'all, I'm telling you, my subscribers, my viewers, the ones that watch my videos, I hope y'all know that I like to experiment. And some of it is stuff that you probably won't cook, but then you may. Because Roy and I just start brainstorming and we come up with all this stuff. It's like today. I'm going to make fermented cheese. Well, when I make my fermented cheese, I use the, uh, oh, I forgot to get my pimentas out. And I'm going to use the ones I can this year out of the garden. Uh, I use mayo and I use a little garlic, a little onion powder. Uh, I use a little pickle relish, which is different, mm -hmm. but it's my uh, stevia pickles. Mm -hmm. It's different than Cranberry pepper most jelly. people today. Now, I'm going to make, make it two ways. I'm going to take a little bit out because I've never done this, and I'm going to put some of my homemade cranberry pepper jelly in it, and then we're going to put it on a hamburger. So, uh, I've never done it with the pepper jelly. This cheese has no but... idea of what it's about to be put through. <laughs> Y'all, I have got probably almost a pound of uh, pepper jack cheese. I've got a block like that, maybe three ounces of mild, because that's what I have in the refrigerator. I've got this little piece of sharp... <laughs> And I've got a an eight ounce little block of Cabot seriously sharp cheese. So that's what I'm going to be making my uh, pimento cheese out of today. You make it out of whatever cheese you like, whatever cheese you have. But this is just what I had in the fridge, and this is what I'm going to use. And I'm going to do it with my food processor. And I have my fine shred blade on my food processor. So y'all just hang with me. Don't leave me yet. <laughs> just because I'm going to be doing something weird to do today. Y'all hang in there with me. I'm Rose from Grandma Rose and Stuff and Fender, by the way. Y'all hang in there with me. And... Uh, by see, the way, see how this turns out. She knows this is going to be good. Well, yeah, because I can taste it in my mouth. I taste it in my head. And uh, I've never done the cranberry pepper jelly, but I know it's going to be delicious. I know delicious. it's going to be good, too. So, And we had never uh, done it with uh, my homemade sugar-free pickle relish until probably a couple of years ago. Ross said, delicious. honey, put some of your pickle relish in it. I did. It was Wonderful. delicious. And now, every time I make it, I put pepper relish. I mean, yeah, I mean pickle relish. So, just whatever you like in yours is the way you do yours. And I've got about two ounces of cream cheese. I needed to use it. So, I'm going to put some the two ounces of cream cheese along with my mayo. So, let me, honey, if you want to come right here, I'm going to go ahead and shred my cheese. Now, this may be kind of loud. 
And I'm not going to make you watch me shred the whole thing. Okay. I'm going to take it off and show you about how I like mine shredded. Now, this is my fine shred right here, and that's the way I like it. Can you see that, baby? Yep. Got okay. It. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in my bowl, just like that. Looks good. Okay. I'm going to finish shredding this cheese and then get my pimenters out, and we'll be back. Grandmama, well, you are on again. Okay. I took my cream cheese out, and I'm going to mix it with my mayo uh, so it'll mix in really well. Now, this this probably, y'all saw the amount of cheese I have. This right here is probably four cups, and I'm going to try to get some of this stuff off the table. So I'm putting a little bit of onion powder. I'm not going to measure it because this is just for your to your taste. Just a little bit, not even a quarter of a teaspoon. The same with garlic, not even a quarter of a teaspoon. Okay, uh, I am going to put some pepper. I'm not going to put salt because cheese is salty. But I am going to put pepper. Now remember, I have pepper jack cheese in here. All right. Uh, now I'm going to put my pimentos. This is my little pimento peppers that I canned out of the garden this year. So uh, probably, I'll measure. Just get one of those little jars in the grocery store, the, the smallest jar, or the big jars, according to how much you like. Mmm. These look good. I grow pretty peppers, don't I? You do. Mm-hmm. Pretty pimento peppers. I may put more than that. I'm not sure. All right, I'm going to sit this right here, and I'm going to mix my mayo. I've got a third of a cup I'm going to put in with this cream cheese. Okay, and I'll take my whisk and whisk it all together. And if that's not enough, I'll add a little bit more. I think I'll do a half a cup. All right, that's about a half a cup. Okay, now I'm going to whisk this together. And this cream cheese is softened. I put it in the microwave. I have a, a softened, like a melt setting on my microwave. So that's what I use. Now this, this fermenter didn't have any juice in it at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of my pickle juice to make this a little bit looser. Now your pimentos will have juice in them. So use the, I would use the juice in everything. I usually do when I buy it. Okay. I just need it a little bit looser so I could mix it really good. All right. Okay. Now, I'm gonna mix this in here. Now, this, this is just a simple pimento cheese. If you leave out the pickles and leave out the, the uh, I lost my spoon. I had a spoon, a big spoon. Oh, well. Y'all, there it is. All right. It had been a snake, it bit me. All right, we're going to mix this up, good, now it'll take a minute to get all this cheese and my mayo and cream cheese mixed up together, but you just have to keep stirring and keep stirring, and you can get it. Don't put too much mayo to begin with because once you get it incorporated, a lot of times you'll have enough mayo. It doesn't seem like it when you're mixing it, but you will. But if you don't, all you got to do is add a little bit more. So that was about a half a cup of mayo 
two ounces of cream cheese. Okay, see how it's coming together. Boy, this is going to be good. Mm. I've got some hamburger patties over here that I've cooked. And I'm going to make us a hamburger and put some of this pimento cheese on it. And I'm going to use the pimento cheese with the pepper jelly in it. Because pepper jelly should have been my middle name. <laughs> it should have been Mary Pepper Jelly Rose Sal Abbott. <laughs> Where does cheese go in? Well, cheese too. Because <laughs> I love pepper jelly. Now, at this point, this is up to you. If you want it creamier, add more mayo. But since I'm going to add pickle relish to mine, I'm not going to add any more mayo. So if, if you're going to stop right here and, put, and don't put anything else in it, then you may want to add a little bit more mayo. It's just according to how creamy you want it. But I am going to... Uh, or, or more cream cheese if they don't want so much mayo. Yeah, cream. or more cream cheese. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to put... Now, I like the stronger cheese flavor because by the time you get through mixing all of the mayonnaise and cream cheese yeah. and everything in, it tends to knock the edge off the cheese, and I like the right. strong cheese flavor. Of course, and I'm going to put a little bit of my pickle juice in it. See, I'm taste. using this instead of using more mayo or more cream cheese. I'm using the juice out of my pickle relish. Oh, and that, oh, pickles and, make it so good. Mm -hmm, yeah. And oh, hers are no mm. sugar because we make them, but they're still sweet. Mm. Oh, my goodness. I want a little bit more pickle relish. Y'all. That pepper jack cheese in here, now it kicks it up, not just one notch, but two notches. Mm. Y'all, this is so good. This is delicious. Mm. Mm. Now, you can put onions in it if you want to. Dice up minced onion. Mince it up really, really well. You can put it in here. I put a little onion powder in mine. You want to taste of this, baby? Good grief. Mm. Oh, good. Isn't mm. that good? Mm. All right, y'all. Mm. Now, this is my regular uh, pimento cheese. Like I say, if you don't want the pickle relish in it, don't put it in there. Just add a little bit more. Add the juice from your pimentos and add a little bit more either cream cheese or mayo to make it creamy like you like it. Now, I'm going to kick it up another notch. I'm going to take, I'm going to do a lot. I'm going to take some of it. Now, this is my pepper jelly that I, no sugar pepper jelly. That I can this summer. I think it was this summer. No, this was in 2000. September the 2nd of 2000. Okay. Now, I'm going to, and I've got some here. Mm, just a little bit in this jar, so I'm going to use it. All right. Now. I want to taste of this, make sure it's. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. I eat this on a cracker. I eat this on cornbread. I eat this on just about every. I love. Whether it's cream beer, pepper jelly, pineapple pepper jelly, regular pepper jelly. It don't matter to me. Just pepper jelly. Okay. She keeps this in the refrigerator as a condiment all the time. We use it on a lot of things, but because it's it, yeah, because it's sugar free and and she's got a video on it. It's it's not hard to make no, a pint at the time and just keep in your refrigerator. Mm -mm, no, when you need a pint, just make another pint. It's not hard to make at all. All right, cranberry uh, 
sauce and cranberry or pepper jelly is mm-hmm. not hard to make either. Just and, and she keeps both in her. And I have one on pineapple butter. pepper jelly. Yes. Okay. Oh y'all. Hmm. I wish I had some gluten free crackers. Hmm. Y'all. You'll have to get. You'll have to toast a piece of your uh, keto. Oh my goodness, y'all! Y'all may think this is off the wall, but let me tell you, or out of the box, out of the ball field. But let me tell you something. Now that is delicious. That right there is delicious. All right, we're gonna come back in a minute. I'm gonna get my zero carb little uh shells that we eat i'm gonna toast them up i'm gonna get a bun to show you how to do it with the bun and i'm gonna make us a hamburger and put this pimento cheese on it so we'll be back in just a little bit now they could uh could get some of the whole cranberry sauce and and use it if they don't have right and just they could even use jelly cranberry sauce you can mix some peppers up in that and Mm -hmm. make your pepper jelly yeah. If you don't want to use the raw, but we... And if you don't want it sugar-free. But all you have to do for the sugar. cranberries is just boil them and... Yeah. Yep. All right. We'll be back. Okay. Got it. You're toasting regular bread and, and a, a zero-carb bread. Yep. A regular hamburger bun and zero-carb. Now, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to smear a little bit of my... And my my uh, shells are hot. Now, these are zero carb. They're hot because they're smoking. Uh, all right. So, I'm going to put a little bit of that on. And it's going to start melting. It's going to get hot. I'm going to take one of my hamburgers. I'm going to put on top of that. All right. I need to get this turned off and this off the burner. Because once these cast irons get hot, they hot. get hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it just like that. Bring it over here. I'm going to mash it down a little bit. Now this is zero carb right here. Now this is a regular bun. Now I didn't put any butter or anything on it. And I'll fix it right here. You're going to use your che- your cheese. That's mine. I'm not going to eat this because it's car. It's uh, not gluten free. Okay. Okay. I'm just showing them how they can do it. Okay. All right. And if you want to add, if you want to add mustard and ketchup, onion, lettuce, tomato, mayo. Whatever else you want to add on yours. But let me tell you, honey, you're going to taste of yours. Well, what we'll do, we'll cut this in half. Uh, Okay. We are fixing to taste this for you. Now, I am going to put a little. We're always going to taste that one and this one. But i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put just a little bit of my cranberry pepper jelly. Put a of cheese on mine. I think Roy's going to put some... Uh, just a little mayonnaise, uh, uh, mustard. Mustard and, and mayo. I mean, ketchup, mustard. Mmm, y'all. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. A pimento cheeseburger. Y'all. Mm. Our good folks. This is delicious. Mm. Make you a... You can buy these zero-carb tortilla shells at Walmart. That's where I get them. I think Mission puts out some... Uh, La Venero or something like that. Puts them out. But you can find them just about anywhere. Mm. Now, you can eat this on sandwich. You can eat it on crackers. You can eat it on 
Doritos on chips, ever how you want it. But this is the way it's delicious. Mm. Good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Food feeds the family, family feeds the heart, God feeds the soul. Put delicious back in healthy food. See y'all next time.